Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video on binary. In this video, we're going to look at how to write numbers in binary and how to write binary numbers as base 10 or decimal numbers. Let's have a look at our base 10 number system. So this is the number system which we're probably most familiar with, with our units, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, tens of millions, and so on. <laughs> and so we've got our base 10 number system. And the great thing about, or one of the great things about our base 10 number system is that we only need to know 10 different digits. They are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight, nine, and when we get to the number ten, we group them together, and we write that's one ten and no units. If we wanted to write the number fifteen, which would be one ten and five units, the number twenty-seven would be two tens and seven units. The number sixty-eight would be six tens and eight units, and so on. So it, the numbers can be grouped together into tens. So we only actually need to know those ten digits, zero to nine, and then when we get to ten tens, we would write one hundred and then no tens and no units. So we group them together. So if we have 10 tens, we group them together as 100. If we have 10 100s, we group them together as 1000 and so on. So if we have a look at our base 10 number system in this form, where we've got our units, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens, thousands, and so on, as you'll notice, each time we move one column to the left, it's 10 times larger because we're grouping 10 of them together. So to get from our units to our tens, we times by 10, tens to 100s, we times by 10, uh, hundreds to thousands, we times by ten, and so on. So when we look at our binary or base two number system, we're going to start off with our units again. But each time we move one column to the left, we're going to times by two. So we're going to have our units, and then we'll times it by two, so that'll be two. So our next column will be our twos or two. Then we're going to times by two, so that'll be four. Then we'll times by two, which would be eight, times by two, which is 16, times by two, which is 32, 64, 128, and so on. So let's have a look at how to write numbers as binary numbers. So we're gonna start off by writing the numbers one to 10 as binary numbers. So our first number, decimal number one, as binary. So we'll just go to our units and we'll put a one in there. So that'll be the number one. So the number one is one. Okay, so the number two in binary. Well, obviously we can't put the number two in here because we can only use the digits one, or zero and one. So we can't put a two in here, but we've got the twos here, so we can put a two there. So we've got two, we don't need any units, we don't need any more, so we're just gonna put a zero. So one, zero, one, zero would be the number two because it's got one, two, and we don't need any other ones, so it's just gonna be two. Okay, the number three. Okay, the number three, well, we're not gonna be using any four, so we're gonna use a, a two and a one. So we're gonna put a one and a one. That'll be one, two, and one, one. And one, two, and one, one, that's three. So that would be one, one in binary. The number four. Well, the number four, well, we can put a one in the fours column and then put a zero and a zero. And then that would be the number four because we've got a four and we don't need any twos and we don't need any ones. So the number one, oh, oh, or one zero zero, I suppose to be saying zeros rather than O's, but one zero zero would be the number four. Next, the number five, well the number five, well we could use a four and a one, so that'd be the number one zero one, and then that would be the number five, so one zero one, okay. The number six, so the number six would be a four and a one, uh, two, and we don't need the one, so that's gonna be one one zero. The number seven, so the number seven would be a four, a two, and a one, because that would be seven, and that would be one, one, one. The number eight, well, that's just gonna be a one in the eights column, and then a zero, zero, zero. So the number eight in binary would be one, zero, zero, zero. As you can see, the numbers are getting quite long in terms of, to write the number eight, our decimal number eight in binary, we're using four different digits, so one, zero, zero, zero. Um, the simple thing is, though, obviously, we're only using two different digits, which keeps it simple. Uh, the number nine, well, that's going to be uh, an eight and a one, so it's gonna be one, zero, 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 one. The number 10, well, that's going to be an 8. We don't need any 4s. We need a 2 and we don't need a 1. So it's going to be 1, 0, 1, 0, and so on. So as long as you know that in binary that you're using the columns 1, and then times by 2 to get 2, times by 2 to get 4, times by 2 to get 8, and times by 2 to get 16, and so on. So as long as you know that you're starting off with 1 and you're times by 2 to get each of the columns, then if you need to write a, a number in binary, all you do is just go through and see which of the digits you need to get that number. So for instance, the number 10, we needed an 8 and a 2, and then you just put a 1, 0, 1, 0, and that's it. Okay, let's uh, look at how to go the other way now, so how to go from binary numbers to decimal numbers. 
So, oh, actually, let's do that in a second. So let's look at uh, two more examples. So writing the number 13 as a binary number. So in an exam, if I was given this question, I would start off by writing the column heading. So it's going to be our 1s, 2s, 4s, 8s, 16s. Well, we're not going to need that one, but I'll just write them anyway. Okay. And if I needed to get the number 13, well, that's going to be an 8, and then a 4, and then a 1. And then that would be our 13, because 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is uh, 13. So 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So that would be 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay. And the number 20 is binary. Well, again, if we write our column headings, um, going from right to left, so 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Whenever we do that, to get the number 20, we would use a 16 and a 4. So our number would be 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. And so the number 20 is binary is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, our next questions are then writing binary numbers as decimal numbers. So what we're going to do is we're just going to write the place headings above these. So we've got 1s and 2s and so on. So 1, 2. So we've got 1, 1, 1, 2. So that's going to be the number 3. Okay, write the binary number 110 as a decimal number. So again, writing our head, our place value headings for binary above it. So 1, 2, and 4. We've got uh, no 1s. We've got 1, 2, and 1, 4. So that's the number 6. Our next question, 1011. So again, we'll write our place headings above it. So 1, 2, 4, and 8. We've got 1, 1. 1, 2, so that's 3, and 1, 8. Well, 3 plus 8 is 11, so that's going to be the number 11. Our next question, write the binary number 10001 as a decimal number. Again, put our place value headings for binary above it, so 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Um, and then that's going to be equal to 1, 1, and 1, 16, so that's going to be the number 17. And our last two examples, write the binary number 101101 as a decimal number. So again, let's put our place headings above it. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. This time we've got a 1. I'm going to actually write these down. We've got a 1, a 4, an 8, and a 32. So 1 plus 4 plus 8 plus 32. And that will give us 40, 44, 45. So that's the number 45, 101101. And our last question, write the binary number 1110111 as a decimal number. So again, let's write the place headings above it. So 1, 2, uh, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. So we're going to be adding together 64, 32, 16, 4, 2, and 1. And we'll add those together and we'll find what this number is as a decimal number. So 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 6 is 12, plus 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18, plus 1 is 19. So put the 9 down, carry the 1. Four, uh, 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10, plus 1 is uh, 11. So the answer is 119. So 119 as a, de or sorry, the binary number 1110111 as a decimal number is 119. And that's it.